Thank you very much for checking out the Men in Nutrition video series. We're going to release all the individual snippets in piecemeal fashion. Today, we are going to feature Jim Seeger. Let's show some love to the individual by liking, commenting, sharing, and connecting via social media with each individual. I'm also on the platform Buy Me A Coffee. This is a platform that allows creators like myself to create content and get rewarded in a variety of payments. I've decided to do it via coffee. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so. And if you want to send one to the uh, individual I'm interviewing, send it to me and I will send it their way. With that being said, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you really enjoy the video and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hi, my name is Jim Seeger, and how I became a registered dietitian was I was a student at the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, and I was learning professional culinary techniques, um, resources. Um, when I graduated, I was really interested in using that ability to help people, but I was instructed or told that you need to become a dietitian because food is medicine. So I spent four years, got a degree in dietetics, um, while I was working and working in small places, big places, and I learned to, to cook professionally. And when I was finished, I knew I wanted to use that in the aspect of helping individuals, specifically athletes. In the meantime, I got a degree while I was working as a certified athletic trainer. Um, and this prepares you to understand the field, um, athletes, injuries, uh, rehab, all aspects of taking care of, of individuals, their health and their wellness. Um, I've put all three aspects together, my culinary experience and education, my dietetic experience and education, and my ability as an athletic trainer, and I help athletes um, perform better using food and be healthier and just, just live their life better every day. Since there's so much in misinformation about food and good and bad food quote i'm a credible resource and i love helping individuals just be at their best whether it's performing on the field or just living their day to day life so to answer the third question about why we need more men in dietetics i think just in just to get a better um representation of all of us right i mean we're all talking about the important the important aspect of all different cultures, religions, people from different places. And the more we know about different foods and different cultures, um, we can apply it to help patients that are different from me or someone else. I, I'm a non-traditional student. I came into dietetics later in my life, but um, you know, I used in my experience from the past and, and I've been an outpatient dietitian. I've done counseling. I've worked with athletes, been an obesity clinic. Um, it all helps out, it, all resources that I used, because we're just trying to help people. Um, I enjoy helping people and learning about food and cooking and just in general.